Welcome back to Sports Please. Sitting alongside me, Women's Basketball Center, Betsy Strider. How you doing, Betsy? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. It's pretty cold out there. I'm going to ask you some questions, have the people of Heidelberg get to know you a little bit better. Okay. What made you decide to get into playing basketball? Well, I'm from a really small town, so it more or less would have been a crime not to play, seeing <laughs> as I'm 6'3", so everyone would have hated me and there's nothing else to do. So it was sports or sit at home and watch TV. <laughs> not a bunch of choices there. Was there any player uh, that you watched or any person that inspired you to play basketball? Like, was there someone that mentored you through this? When I was younger, um, I don't, maybe my older sister. Hmm. She doesn't play anymore, and she's not as tall as I am by any stretch oh. of the imagination. <laughs> she's only like 5'8", but she really loved the sport, so we'd always go out and shoot around together. And oh, well, that's that nice. Kind of thing. And my dad, of, too, I guess. A little bit of sisterly <laughs> love going on. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Betsy, I know this has been kind of a tough season on the women's basketball, but aside from that, what has been the most memorable part of your senior season? I would have to say our first home game beating Otterbein, which, I mean, they're not like – amazing or anything but yeah. it still was a big deal to us because we hadn't won a game yet so it was our first game and it was at home yeah. and then just all of the relationships you build like with your teammates I know you play football so you probably yes. have the same thing it's yeah. like a big family it is so. a big family and you live in a house with all of them so you're mm -hmm. even more of a bigger family yes now I know you're a huge reality sport <laughs> reality tv person but <laughs> if you had to pick what would you say is your favorite NBA team or WNBA team I would go with the Cavs. The Cavs? Not that I'm like a huge Cavs fan, mm -hmm. but my roommates watch them, so oh. we only have so many TVs. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other sports you play or have played besides basketball? I used to play volleyball in high school. Oh. And then like <laughs> softball when I was younger, but mainly volleyball in high school. Great. What, what position were you? I was the left side. Left side? I wasn't fast enough to be the middle. <laughs> were you throwing them down at all, spiking oh, on course, people? Of course. <laughs> All right, like I said, people of Heidelberg want to know who you are. Is there an interesting fact about yourself that us people on campus may not know about you? Just one interesting fact. Just, <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I would say I work in the Office of Communication and Marketing. So okay. a lot of the posters you see around campus, I help make those. It's all you? Nice. And then the website, I do a lot with the website. Okay. Put pictures up and stuff like that and write for the sports. Is that kind of what you want to get into outside of mm -hmm. when done? Awesome. That would be my dream job, working <laughs> at a college like this. Great, great. Now, a lot of athletes have sports rituals, you know, tie their left shoe first, then their right, or put a certain sock on first. Do you have any pregame rituals or superstitions? I am very superstitious. <laughs> I wear, basically, if we win a game, I wear the same underwear until we lose. Oh. I wash them. I wash them. Oh, I <laughs> but I wear so. the same like underwear, sports bras, all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Like all day long in the same outfit. Like if we win in this travel jacket, I'll mm -hmm. wear this the next game and oh. that That's kind of thing. And I do put my left shoe on first. You put your left I shoe do. on first. Has anything bad ever happened? Like if you put your your right shoe on first, or is I'm it not just... willing to try that. <laughs> 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 okay. What is your favorite part of playing basketball? I mean, do you like s blocking people? Oh, yes. You love blocking? That would be it. Yeah? Hands down. I love to block shots. See a little point guard driving down the lane and you see her and you just, what, what not, are you thinking? Not in my house. <laughs> not in your house? <laughs> not up <Awesome>. here. <laughs> <laughs> you give her the, the Kembe Mutombo I can't big do finger. That. Uh, I can't. I would feel bad. Do you have a most memorable block? Um, yeah. I don't remember what game it was, but this little girl just drove into the lane and we just Oh. Not, not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this, this question might get you in trouble, or even me, as a matter of fact, but who on the team would you say does the best impression of Coach Albert? Oh, Lindsay Dayball, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> she does impressions of everybody. She does. <laughs> so Coach Alberts is obviously a victim. <laughs> if, if you could please give me, like, what, what impression does she give? Um, I don't even know if I could just pick one out. There's... When Coach was little, Lindsay's from the same like area as Coach, and mm -hmm. she recorded her name like Mossy Alberts on. I can't do it obviously <laughs> on the recorder, so they always make fun of her about that. And Lindsay can do it perfectly. <laughs> I can just see someone doing an impression like that. All right, Betsy, going to rapid fire questions now. Not so much rapid fire. I'm going to give you three choices, so you don't have to just give me a straight answer. 
Number one, what number is Los Angeles Lake, Los Angeles Spark Center, Lisa Leslie? A, number three, B, number 21, or C, number nine? Uh, C? C? Number nine? She got it, number nine, Lisa Leslie. All right, number two, you're one for one. Let's get this, okay. let's get this, keep this on. I'm feeling it. Which college or university has the most players in the WNBA? A, Stanford, B, UConn, or C, Tennessee? Now, before you tell me, I, I would think UConn. I mean, they're just freakish, but what do you think? I'm going to go with UConn. I have no idea. See, I, I think anyone would go with UConn. I mean, they are freakish. I mean, they're beating teams by like 50 points. But that is incorrect. It is A, Stanford. Aww. That's a tough one. I mean, okay. I mean, one I, for two. One for two. It's not that bad. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if you can get two for three. Last question. What year, this is a tough one, did the WNBA have its first season? A, 1996. B, 1997 or C, 1998? I'm going to go with A, 1996. No, Betsy, I'm sorry. I fail. But, I fail. But <laughs> it's kind of a trick question because 96 is when it first got opened up where the idea came for WNB and then its first season came in 1997 when they I actually started playing games. Well, thank you, Betsy, for all your time. I appreciate you coming on the show and giving me some of your answers and letting the people of Heidelberg know who you are, not just a basketball player, but as a person as well. Coming up, my final thought, don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this.